Hey everyone, thanks for taking the time to listen to this session today. My name is Alan Cassidy and I'm here to talk to you about our marketplace and the session's title is Expand Your Reach with the ArcGIS Marketplace. So let's go ahead and dive in. Here's the topics I'd like to cover today in this session. Uh, cover our marketplace vision. What, what do, why, why do we have a marketplace and what does it mean to our users and our partners around the world? Understanding what is this thing a micro marketplace provider I keep talking about? How does a, an organization become a provider? Dive into what providers can list in the marketplace today. What's our 2021 roadmap, key initiatives we're working on? And then what are the benefits as a marketplace provider? And then resources and information for you all to get started. All right, so let's kick off with the vision. So really our marketplace, it's an online destination that allows users to search, discover, get apps, data, solutions, connect with trusted services providers. And really our vision of the marketplace or vision for the marketplace is to make it the most convenient way for our users to connect with Esri partners and get their offerings. And from a business partner perspective and becoming a provider perspective, it's really your point of entry into our digital ecosystem. And really, what is this digital ecosystem? What does it all encompass? You can see here, these are what Esri considers our digital sales channels. You can see we have the Esri store and its purpose is really to buy ArcGIS products, um, users, credits, stuff like that related to core ArcGIS capabilities. The next is in the middle there is the marketplace. And it's really about our business partners and their offerings. And then I imagine most of you are familiar with our developers uh, or the ArcGIS platform that's just been relaunched and re-envisioned. And I'm sure you've all uh, learned and hopefully checked out the uh, launch announcement and, and, and event we did a while back. So marketplace provider, so becoming a provider, it really begins with being an Esri partner in one of our programs. And you can see the different options here. We have a lot of great options uh, to partner with Esri. Uh, if you're interested in this, if you're not already a partner and interested, you can see on the link below where you can learn more about the different benefits, uh, start the process to apply and so on. So what can providers list in the marketplace today? So these are the offering types that we support. Apps uh, as a broad category that includes mobile native apps, uh, web apps, desktop applications, and then also data. I'll dive deeper into data into the next slides. Widgets, this is currently the developer edition for widgets. And I'll talk more in our roadmap section about what we're uh, looking to launch uh, later on this year. ArcGIS Pro add-ins, partner solutions, and then listing professional services are the types of listings, we'll call them, or offerings that marketplace providers can list on the marketplace. So let's dive deeper into data. You can see here the three options we have, ready to use, custom data requests, and project-based services. So, so what do these all mean? Let's take a look. Ready to use, this is really about listing, as it's kind of in the name, ready to use data services. So a 3D scene, imagery, feature data. Users can buy it, get instant access via e-com or purchase request. We support trials around this. Uh, uh, providers often offer free data, and, and then uh, it's used to generate leads from a business perspective. The next is custom data requests. So it's really user sends a request to a provider detailing what they need. These providers provision those services after the transactions complete, if you will, on a subscription basis. And as data providers, you have multiple options to license that data after the user has made the request and you fulfilled it. You can license it on a per user basis or license the whole organization. The third is project-based services. So this is consulting providers listing their capabilities to uh, you know, capture street level imagery or fly the drone to a specific area. And it's really about kicking off a project is really what this type of listing is uh, from a user perspective and a business partner perspective. All right, so we, we accomplished a lot in 2020. I wanna kind of highlight some of the, uh, go through some of the highlights. So first and foremost, we, we completely reimagined and transformed uh, our user experience, uh, tightly integrated into Esri.com, built into this Adobe experience platform, which Esri le leverages. It allows us to offer a personalized user experience, provide recommendations to users, as well as lots of different featuring and promotion op uh, options. 
Uh, we've separated out products versus services, kind of reimagined this and made it easier for users from a search and discovery perspective. And from a provider perspective, this system gives us, gives us great kind of web analytics and intel for, for us to pass along to providers so they can optimize their offerings. Another thing related to providers is we, 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 we re-engineered completely the listing creation process. So step-by-step -step guided process, uh, you know, clearer path to creating more successful listings based on the listing type that that provider is looking to create and go to market with on our marketplace. Another great resource, and this is for, for, for business partners and, and, and current providers, we've centralized all our resources uh, in one place inside the Esri partner community. A major effort to do this and really creating a self-service resource for interested providers, uh, or interested partners, I should say, and current marketplace providers. Lots of other things, I'll go through these quickly. We've rolled out a new listing edit experience. We've expanded buying options for users. We've overhauled again our provider console and we've made it a provider only marketplace. Uh, one of the things I mentioned uh, earlier in the digital sales channel kind of slide where I highlighted how the purpose of our different uh, digital channels. All right, so let's talk about the, the roadmap and kind of key related initiatives that we're working on to bring new options to our marketplace. So the first one I alluded to earlier is providers listing hosted Web App Builder widgets. So this is something that's been uh, in process for a while now at Esri, and we're really excited to bring this um, to market in, in March of this year. Uh, if we dive deeper into it, we're gonna launch with select providers in March, and then we're gonna evolve our current process to include a security review of these type of widgets from our business partners and add in some additional benefits on as far as business and technical advisory. And then we plan on launching this opportunity to any provider later on in June. And then even more exciting in some senses is we'll be expanding this to experience builder widgets later on in the year. So really cool opportunity for, for users and partners. Another one is, and I'll start going through these quickly, is we've enhanced our trial option for data providers. We have a really powerful trial mechanism built in, but what we're gonna do is allow for, uh, allowing for a sample and data set to be included within that trial in addition to what we support today, giving even more options for data providers to uh, get leads, offer trials of the actual data or a sample or unique demonstration data set is really what this new capability uh, brings. We're gonna begin sharing uh, performance or web analytics with providers. I hinted at that in the slide where I talked about our new users experience that we've built. And some of this uh, power of this new system comes with these deep web analytic capabilities and we wanna uh, pass those benefits on to marketplace providers. We also wanna enable our current pro add-in and widget providers to be able to provision multiple versions to existing users. So they can align and get the latest greatest from providers, but they can also ensure that they're working with a compatible version that's compatible with the version of pro or web app builder uh, developer edition that they're using. And then we have a new emerging offering a type that we've been working on, on for a while now, and this is called uh, services on demand. It's really designed for data providers with high volume data. What it fundamentally is is a data provider listing a geoprocessing service for the user to leverage in pro or web app builder. The data is hosted and managed by the provider and it provides some unique types of capabilities for data providers to bring their content to market uh, and, and so we're operating in a limited pilot now. We plan on bringing this to a full release in June of this year. All right, so I'm going to dip deep into uh, uh, tiptoe into the sort of how the marketplace and the ArcGIS platform or our past strategy are connected and how you as developers can begin thinking about the marketplace as it relates to um, uh, this new ArcGIS platform launch. So here you've seen this slide potentially before, talks about the key capabilities and all the different powerful aspects of the ArcGIS platform. And you can see here the marketplace as a core capability within it. So as developers, think of the marketplace as both a business channel for, business channel for you to go to market with, with your offerings, but also from a consumer's perspective, it's got a ton of great data and different solutions that you could maybe leverage to integrate into your own solutions that you're building. So exciting connection in here to the ArcGIS platform. 
All right, so now we'll pivot into the benefits for providers. What are sort of the, the key uh, reasons that a business partner should look at the marketplace uh, as a, an option to grow their business? So right out the gates, access to the global ArcGIS user community. You know, you offer trials, get leads. You don't have to build any of this. This is all benefits built in to the capabilities of the marketplace. You can leverage our e-commerce integration. You've got multiple licensing options. There's tons of marketing benefits. Our Esri digital sales team promotes these offerings. We've got a new marketing program for providers to, to, to take advantage of. And then, you know, business technical advisory, security reviews, and as I mentioned before, those web analytics to help you optimize your offerings, to understand who's visiting your offerings, what are they doing, what industries are they from, and so on. So at the high level, I mean, it's really the gateway. First of all, this is the, these are some stats on, you know, annual visitors to Esri websites and our social media. So lots of addressable, uh, lots of uh, potential uh, market out here for uh, business partners to reach these users. Another slide kind of reinforcing the global nature of this. This is sort of the web analytics we leverage, but you can see a map here of visits um, and concentrations of those visits from around the world in 2020. And how do we accomplish this? How do we sort of market the marketplace and deliver on these benefits? We do this in several ways. Uh, we have newsletters and, and digests, we'll call them. Uh, we have provider spotlights. We feature marketplace providers in Esri publications. We promote their press releases and we have, we uh, co-participate, if you will, in, in webinars and blogs along with our marketplace providers. Our marketplace providers, we love promoting them on social media. You can see just this is just a, a handful of examples of all the great promotion that, that, that marketplace providers benefit from. And we have increased opportunities for providers to get featured. That's on the marketplace throughout Ezra.com. Lots of great opportunities already. And this is an area we continue to evolve, uh, uh, what we will continue to evolve uh, throughout the future. All right, so hopefully you're excited about uh, the marketplace, both as a, as a developer, consumer, as well as a business partner. So how do you get started? So here's some resources here uh, for you to learn more. And really it's back to that partner portal. So existing Esri partners, right in your take action section of the Esri partner community, you can start the process, learn about the criteria and start the process. It's key to work with your partner manager or distributor. And for those of you that aren't existing Esri partners, uh, you know, you can check out those Esri partnering options, as well as, uh, you know, reach out uh, to me personally, if you'd like to talk about options uh, around becoming a marketplace provider. All right. Uh, I believe there's a there's a session link. So by clicking in this, you can complete the survey. Tell us what you liked or didn't like and what you'd like to learn more about uh, in uh, subsequent uh, events. All right. Well, thank you. It's thanks a ton for taking the time to learn about the marketplace again. Here's my contact information as well as our general marketplace team resource center line. Please don't hesitate to reach out with questions, comments, ideas. Uh, we love hearing from you. Thank you.